Entertainment brings you an extensive collection of children's videos full of music, fun and adventure for you to share with your entire family. Tots TV! Join in the fun with the Tots at their secret and magical hideaway house in the woods. Super Tiny! Super Tiny! Super Tiny! Then travel into the secret world of Rosie and Jim. Here is Rosie, here is Jim. I am Princess Starla. And Starla and the Jewel Riders brings you romance, fantasy and adventure. By the magic of the Sunstone. The bananas in pyjamas are always up to lots of mischief. Ooh, there's a letter B too. But what does it say? Must be a fairy party on the beach. The classically animated Beatrix Potter video collection includes timeless tales that your children will love. Who in the world is this? I'm Timmy Willy. And the old bear books are brought to life with captivating model animation. Rabbit peered under the car. How does it work, he asked. With this, said little bear. The Willows in Winter continues the story of Ratty, Mole, Badger, and Toad. Look, Ratty! New hands! <laughs> what is that thing? All of these wonderful children's videos and more are available from Carlton Home Entertainment for you and your family to own. Rosie and Jim, we play our games. <coughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John, he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One cloudy day. And then I'll draw the canal with my two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Life jacket on. Well, I want to get on today and get all the way to Dudley, along here. Let's get going. It's really nice and quiet down here. Whilst up on that bridge above me, there are all those noisy cars. We're 
we're going underneath all the noisy cars now. Oh, so Fizzgog's gonna steer all round this bendy bit. Steering a boat's a bit like driving a car. There are certain rules. That sign says, all boats keep right. Keep right, keep right. <laughs> no, I want to steer the boat this way. That's silly. And there's a roundabout ahead. Just like one on the road. And it's got water all around it. Going to go around it now. Here we go. Roundabout! <laughs> Here we go round the roundabout. The roundabout. The roundabout. Here we go round the roundabout all day long. Here we go round the roundabout, the roundabout, the roundabout. Here we go round the roundabout all day long. Rosie, why can't you steer it round the other way? No, Fizzgog said you're not allowed to. In case something comes the other way. Now, my canal book says that round this corner there's a big hill and I've got to get my boat up that hill. How am I going to do that? Wait and see. You'll see when we come to it. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie and Jim went up the hill, a climbing up the water. Then they went down to Bromwich in town, riding on the motor. <laughs> hey, Duck, keep a look out for this hill. I can't wait to see a hill. Yeah. Can you see the hill going up ahead of us? It goes up in. Steps with water in them, and there are gates to hold the water from running away. We can get up there by going through the gates. Is that it? We're not going up there, are we? Well, Fizzgog says we are. You mean everything? You, me, duck, and the boat? Rosie and Jim went up the hill and took the duck up with them. And my bag. And my book. And all the beds. And John's book. And all the food. And the fridge. And the kitchen sink. And, and everything, everything floated up, up with them. <laughs> Hello, old John. You mind if we come through the lock? Yes. Thank you very much. If you give us a hand, we'd be very grateful. Quack, quack. You can see now that the water's much higher here than it is in the place where the boat is, in the lock. But if I open the tap using this key, then the water will run in and the boat will come up. So let's do it. Here it goes. Oh, quite stiff. Can you see how the water's getting higher on this side and it's lifting the boat up and up? Hello. It's a good way to lift a boat up, isn't it? It is, yes. I can feel it going up now. Yeah. Can you tell me how high each lock lifts the boat? About six metres. Six metres? Yeah. That's a long way, isn't it? Oh, it is. And how many locks are there climbing up this hill? Eight. Eight locks? Yeah. So that means the boat is climbing up about as high as four houses. Oh, yes, definitely. Goodness me. Yeah, yeah. And all with water. Oh, all with water, yeah. Mm, wonderful. There we go. 
Got the gate open and the boat can go out now. Yep. Hey, let's help. <laughs> yeah, let's help. One, One two, two, three, push. push. Oh, push. push. Oh, oh. There. The handle goes round and round, the handle goes round and round, hey ho ba doobie oh, the handle goes round and round. round. The water comes pouring in, the water comes pouring in, hey ho ba doobie oh, the water comes pouring in. The water coming in, Jim. <laughs> The boat goes up and up. The boat goes up and up. Hey ho, my doomio, the boat goes up and up. Lovely, thank you. Thank oh, you very mate. much. All the best. All the oh. best to you. Bye bye. Wah, wah, wah. Ducky's quacking his quacky song. Time for home. We, we stayed, stayed too, too long. long. Come on. <laughs> yes, thank you, Duck. <laughs> thank you, Duck. <laughs> Open your lock gates, Water Wizard Jim, and let my boat through. No, you can't come in until you tell me the magic password. <laughs> um, oh. Fizzle fuzzle. Um, no, uh, that's not right. Uh, quack quack. Oh, uh, quack quack quack. No, that's not right either. Quack 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 Open the gates and let me through. All oh, right. Do, 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 be, do, bo, bo, do, be, do. <laughs> Here we go. Chuck, 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 chuck. <laughs> <laughs> there. <laughs> now, um, turn the taps on and let the water in, please. No. <laughs> Not until you tell me another password. <laughs> Wah, 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 the water comes rising up. The water comes rising up. <laughs> hey ho, my doobie oh, the water comes rising up. The water comes pouring in. The water comes pouring in. Hey ho, my doobie oh, the water comes pouring in. <laughs> now I'm sailing up into the clouds. <laughs> Now I've got to the top of the hill, you can see just how far I've come. The long line of locks climbing up the hill, as high as four houses, it's a long way. Oh, he's coming! I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day, Rosie and Jim were chugging along on the good boat rag doll when they saw a huge gate right across the water. What's that, said Rosie? That is the house where the water wizard lives, said Jim. Will he let us in, said Rosie? Yes, said Jim, if we say the magic words. 
Say them, said Rosie, if you know them. Uh, Abracadabra, London Zoo. No, that's not right. But they couldn't remember the magic words, so the water wizard would not let them through. Abracadabra, super glue, open the gates and let us through. And the water wizard made a great gurgle wurgling and a swooshing and a splashing and he opened his gates and the boat went in. They said another spell. Argle bargle, pudding and pies. Water wizard, make us rise. The water went bubble, bubble, spuggle, sprug, and up went the boat and up went Jim and up went everything. Then the water wizard opened his back door and let them out again. We did it, said Rosie. We did it, said Jim. Rosie! Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, Chunky Ben Dong on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye! <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, Chunky Ben Long on the old rag dog. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's back. Tim's drawing book, the world drifts by, the window frame, and Rosie and Tim we play our games. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and John he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the canal with two blue pens. Like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Oh, it's a lovely day today. You know, this is my last piece of toast. Get my life jacket on first. Yes, I've done a silly thing. I've completely run out of food on the rag doll. So if I don't find a shop today, there'll be nothing at all for my tea. Let's have a look at the book. Well, the book says that um, along here there are lots of houses and there's a bridge for trains to go over and even a lot of trees. But they're not much good for food. So, I'll have to just go and have a look. Let's get going. Quack, 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 quack,
Thanks, Doc. <laughs> We're moving, Rosie. Where are we going to, Jim? I really have to find a shop. So what I'm going to do is just set off down here and keep a lookout and hope I find one. Jim, he said we were going to find something to eat. Some houses, <laughs> some trees, <laughs> and a railway bridge. <laughs> he didn't say that, did he, Rosie? Did. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go all the way down the canal and find a tree, a house, and, and, and everything to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, there's a house. I could eat that. <laughs> I'd gobble it up right from the chimney to the front door. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna draw that yummy house. Oh, OK. Yummy roof, yummy house, yummy window, yummy door, yummy, yummy house. Hey, Jim, there's a nice juicy tree. I could eat that all up for my dinner. Munchie, munchie tree. <sighs> Yummy. Rosie, what else is there to eat? Oh, well, oh, there's some yummy clouds. Oh, yeah. And up in the sky, the clouds sail by. A train rushing past with a whoosh and a sigh. We'll, we'll gobble, gobble them up. up. In less than a minute, the clouds, the train, and everyone in it. Yum, 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 yum. Gobble, 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 gobble. My goodness, there's a huge amount of new buildings here. And the canal's really high up, up the hillside. That's unusual. Oh, and down there, I can see a big supermarket. I'm about to get all my shopping there. I'll stop and have a look. Check it off. Won't leave the life jacket in the shops. Chuck the doors up securely. List. Money, and off we go. Right, to get a trolley. Jim! They've got loads of food in here. They've got loads of... They've got sweets and, and biscuits. They've got loads... Jim, we've got to go and get a trolley. Yeah, Jim, get a trolley. Yeah. My goodness. What a huge shop. Oh, well, let's see. Eggs. I wonder where they are. Ah, eggs. Good. Six. Six eggs. That's right. What's next? Jim, first we need a house. Um, oh, look, 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 With a window and a door and a chimney and a... There. Here is a house. <laughs> A um, bready and cakey house. Where else? There it goes. Now what's next? Uh, uh, um, oh, beans, beans. Ah, beans. Lovely. Three, one, two, three. Jim, we need some trees. We do. Jim? Jim? No! Oh! oh. oh <laughs> Jim! It's not very nice. One broccoli tree. Oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> A broccoli tree. Monkey, monkey, broccoli, 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 <laughs> monkey, monkey. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Ah, milk. Good. A little one. And a big one.
What's next, Rosie? Uh, we need some clouds, Jim. Oh, uh, clouds. Um. Oh. Clouds. Cloudy, 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 what is it, Jim? It's a creepy cloud, Rosie. <laughs> Here, catch. Whee! <laughs> Thank you for the cloud, Clever Noggin. Come on, let's go. What's next, Rosie? Um... Oh, I mustn't forget the carrots. One bucket. Right? Yeah. That's right. I think that's everything. Good. I'm going to pay for it now. Uh, Jim, what are you doing? We need a... We need a train and everyone in it. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jimmy <laughs> Doggin, you <laughs> clever <laughs> thing. <laughs> All aboard. Tickety bomb, tickety bomb, tickety bomb, tickety bomb, tickety bomb, tickety bomb. Orange train, Rosie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye bye. Hello. Hello. Is it there today? It is, yes. Thank you. Where's Fiskog? Don't know. Oh, Jim, quick, quick. Oh, oh, which way? Oh, I don't know. Hey, Rosie, oh. which way's out? Oh, Jim, hurry up. We're going to miss him. I don't know which oh. way to go. Oh, Jim, oh, 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 I wonder what that noise is. Would you look after my stuff while I go and look? Quick, Rosie! Quick, quick. Get out of here! We've been naughty, Jim! Oh, naughty, naughty, quick! Oh, quick! Please go! What was that? Oh, run, Jim, run! As fast as you can! Oh, there's this box trolley. We can put all our food in his trolley. Come on. Hey, look, here's the, here's the tree, isn't there? And, uh, oh, oh, God, oh. Here's the house up oh, there, <laughs> and, um, oh, hey, Jim, here's the clouds, woo! <laughs> and, uh, here's the train, <laughs> woo! Quick, Jim, quick, let's go! <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry, did I you find out what it was? Well, no, somebody knocked a lot of, um, cornflakes packets over and crashed down. Oh, some children, probably. Oh, dear, I don't know. Anyway, um... Continue with your shopping. Um... I've never seen that before. What's that? A house? I don't remember getting... No? I don't remember this either. An orange train? Oh. Oh. It looks like a train. Strange. Bye, fish dog. Thank you, Dawes. Yes, yeah, thank you, Dawes. Thank you. Some strange things in my shopping. They are. There's a monkey going up a tree. He's found, he's found, uh, he's found uh, a tree. <laughs> yeah, and he's found an uh, orange train. <laughs> With all the jelly babies on it. <laughs> oh, very strange. Yes, it is. Strange indeed. I must have been dreaming. Carrots, yes, carrots are all right. <laughs> and milk. Two, yes, and six eggs. Remember all that. <laughs> My goodness, I've got a good load of shopping. I've got more than I meant to get, really. And look at these great windows, they're like huge mirrors. Better get back to the boat now. Oh, I'm glad to get back to the boat. of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim were chugging along on the good boat rag doll. I'm so hungry, said Rosie. I could eat a house. And no sooner had she said it than there by the water was a house made of bread with cake windows and biscuit doors and chimneys. They ate it nearly all up. But they were still hungry. 
I could eat a tree, said Rosie. And there were some broccoli trees. And they gobbled them up. They were still hungry, so they ate some clouds for pudding. They'd eaten so much that they were too fat to walk. So they caught a train that was passing. They got off the train at the supermarket. But they were too full to do any shopping. So Duck brought them home in a shopping trolley. Rosie! Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, tack and low on the old red dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, tagging along on the old red dog. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's back. Tim's drawing book, the world drifts by, the window frame, and Rosie and Tim we play our games. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and John he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the canal with two blue pens. Like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely day, isn't it? Now I've got my life jacket on, and here's my book. I'm about here this morning, and I'm going to go around this corner and all the way up here. And it's shown as a dotted line, so that means it's underground in a long, dark tunnel where it'll be as black as night. Let's get going. Coming to a long dark tunnel. It'll be pitch dark in there like, like night time. Hey Jim, we're going to where it's as black as night. We're gonna go 
all, all the way down the canal, all the way to where it's night. Yeah. Rosie, I'm a bit frightened of the dark. Oh, there's no need to be knocking. You can see some interesting shadows as you go along the canal. There's one travelling along the boat just now. Of course, what makes them is when something gets in the way of the sunshine. But the sun's got to be shining. That's a bridge that's doing that one. My hand can make a shadow as well. Rabbit. He's a dog. Uh, ruff, ruff, see? Ruff, can you ruff, see his ears? Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to do a cat now, look. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Because he does. Cats Ooh. don't like water. <gasps> Rosie, it's getting darker. It's nothing to worry about, Noggin. It's just the dark shadow of a big tower. It, it's, it's blocking out the sand. My book says it's a cold... Cobb's engine house. I wonder what sort of engine Mr. Cobb had in his house once. This is where the canal goes under the hill. It looks like a rabbit hole to me. Which is going to be really dark in there. There'll be no sunlight at all. Rosie? Yeah? When's it night time? Um, well, when the sun goes down and you can't see it anymore, well, that's night time. Nothing to be scared of. <laughs> no. Nice time to go to sleep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and when the sun comes back up, well, that's, that's tomorrow, tomorrow morning. morning. <laughs> yes. Rosie! Jim! <laughs> it's night time. <laughs> It's completely dark under here, because we're deep underground. So it's darker than even night time, because there's no, no stars, no moon, nothing. Quack, quack, quack. Rosie, huh? there's no moon or any stars. That's because the dragon of the hill has swallowed the moon, and he swallowed the stars as well, Jim. Rosie, stop all your scary stories. You're frightening me. <laughs> well, it's being dark. It's got very strange sounds in here, very echoey. If I call out, I'll hear my voice echoing, I expect. Hello? Hello? Echo? Echo? Hey, Jim, that's the dragon of the hill shouting back. <laughs> Hello, dragon? I wonder what it would be like if I turned the lights off on my boat. I'll just turn them off for a moment to see. Oh, Jim! It, it's all gone dark and I'm scared. Rosie, there's nothing to be scared of. You said so yourself. Now look what you've done with your scary stories. <laughs> dark, are you still there in the dark? <laughs> oh, my goodness. It really is black. I don't like this. I'm going to have my lights on again now. Oh! Oh! oh. It's not quite so dark now. Maybe uh, morning's uh, coming. Yeah. That's better. And if I look right along, long, long way along the tunnel, I can see the daylight shining outside. That's nice. Maybe it's a dragon's eye. No, that's the sunshine coming back. Look. Oh, <laughs> Rosie. Huh? Um, is that is that tomorrow morning then? No, silly. It's still today. The sun's been shining all the time. We've just been under the hill in a dark tunnel. <laughs> if I look upwards, I can see shafts going up to the air outside, there, to let air in, to let water in as well, like the one I'm coming to now. And I'm going to get a splash in the face out. Oh, lovely. Look, <laughs> 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 to the 
There's all splashy, splashy tunnel up to the shed. And now I can see the end of the tunnel, way ahead of me, and the sun shining, and the day out there waiting for me. Rosie? That, that light at the end of the tunnel is getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, super gay light again. Come on, light! Yeah, come on, light. I'll be glad when we get there. Oh, so will I, Jim. Goodness, that was exciting. But it's lovely to be out in the daylight again. I think I'll stop and stretch my legs. Well, I think I'll go for a get this tied up, and then I'll go for a walk up the hill. I'll tell you what. It's harder work going over it than it was going through it in the tunnel. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, what? Now we're walking over the hill. We've just been under on the boat down there. Here, yeah, the water goes right under our feet in the tunnel. Uh, yeah. Bit to the top, Rosie. Oh. We'll get a good view from up there. Oh, oh. oh Jim, look, there's a rabbit. Rosie. Oh, she lives in a tunnel, Rosie. <laughs> what a noggin, living in a tunnel. <laughs> yeah, deep, deep, deep underground. <laughs> I wouldn't like living in there. No. I expect she likes it, though. Yeah, she's she's safe in there. She only comes out for her dinner, and she's safe because the foxes can't get her. Rosie? Yeah? What about the dragon of the hill in there? Is she safe from him? <laughs> I only made him up, noggin. Did you? Yeah. You're a doggy. <laughs> Beat you to the top of the hill. Come on, then. One, two, three. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Lots of beds. Rosie, yeah. I've just found something for your collecting bag. Oh, wow. An egg box. Yeah. Hey, Jim, we could make a dragon of the hill with the oh, yeah. oh, shadows, Rosie. Do we go to The moon's out, and, and, and Fiskog's gone for a long, long walk, and I'm getting really sleepy. <laughs> so am I, Jim. Has <laughs> oh, Fiskog coming back now? Oh, come on. It's a lovely evening, and I've been for a really long walk, right over the hill. So I've been under the hill in the boat, and over the hill on my feet. I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. Now I'm going to write the story about Rosie and Jim in my book and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim were travelling on the good boat rag doll when they came to a big black hole in the side of the hill. We're not going in there, said Rosie. But they were. The boat didn't stop. It went chugging straight on into the darkness. Rosie and Jim were afraid. Ooh, said Rosie. What if we meet the dragon under the hill? Ooh, uh, said Jim. Ooh. They turned on the light on their boat and carried bravely on. Rosie 
saw a little dot of light in front of them. What's that, said Jim. It's the dragon's eye, said Rosie. But it wasn't. The little dot grew bigger and bigger. It turned into a hole like the one they had gone into. It was the end of the tunnel. And when they came out of it, at long last, there was no dragon at all. The sun was still shining and everything was all right. Rosie! Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, take a bend on the old back door. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Rosie and Jim, we play our games. <coughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and Johnny writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One cloudy day. And then I'll draw the canal with my two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. It's a bit chilly this morning. I'll get my life jacket on. That'll keep me warm. I've got my stoves lit on the boat today to keep it warm inside. The only trouble is, I've run out of coal to keep them burning. So I'll have to get some more somewhere, won't I? Now, my book says that just along here, there's an old coal mine you can visit deep underground. Well, that should be good for a story. And I might be able to buy some coal as well. So I'll get the engine started and on my way. Jim? 
<laughs> Tim, where are you going down a coal mine? A coal mine? Yeah. You mean we're going to go all the way along the canal to find where coal comes from? Yes, to put on our fire. Oh, good, because I'm chilly. <laughs> Not much left in there, Rosie. Nope. It's coal, a lump of black rock. It's a lump of black dirty rock. <laughs> Why, what, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Look at yourself in the mirror, Noggin. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look at my nose, it's all dirty. <laughs> Rosie? Yeah? Coal's not much good for drawing with, Rosie. Noggin, you're not supposed to draw with it. It's for burning. It makes lots of smoke. Huh? Does the smoke go all the way up there, out to the chimney? Yes. Oh. It's a smoky old morning this morning. Well, a smoky town. My boat's making smoke to keep me warm from the fire. And the factories up there, they're smoking. That's smoking, where all the people are working, making things. And there's a bit of smoke from the engine of my boat as well. This is the old mine that I was telling you about, where you can go and visit. It's a place where they used to get coal from under the ground. There's a huge bucket here, and they filled it with coal under the ground, and then they pulled it up with this long, long wire that goes right up over a huge wheel. And that's how they got the coal up from under the ground. When it came to the top, they put it in little carriages that ran on these rails to bring it out to where they had to sell it. But I'm going to go now and look underground to see how they dug the curl out. What did he say? Where are we going? We're going under the ground. Hello, I'm John. Hello, my name's Andy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You know, I'd really love to see the mine underground. Is that possible? Yes, certainly. You're going to need a helmet, John. I hope you've got one big enough for my big I head. I think just about. <laughs> Right. We don't need to bang your head. No, that wouldn't do at all. One for myself, and you will also need a lamp. Uh -huh. So that you can see in the dark. Thank you. Off we go. What did he say? Oh, yeah. Hat, so don't bang me head. Yeah, and, oh. and the light on so I can see in the dark. Which way is it, Rosie? Uh, this way. Oh, this way. Uh, which way? Uh, that uh, way. This way. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> right, this is where we start going underground, is it? It is. Mind your head, it's a little bit low here, John. Oh, it is, isn't it? My goodness. We're going to go down, down passageways... Yeah. ...until we come to the coal. This is just rock we're in at the moment. Oh, yes, yeah. So, what is coal, really? Coal is a special kind of rock that's very deep under the ground. Ah, that's why you've got to have these deep tunnels to get to it. That's right, and it's a special kind of rock that burns. Yeah, ah, it's magic. Oh, Rosie, we're going down deep, deep, deep into a magic place. Oh, I don't like it, Jim. It's getting dark and it's getting stuffy. <laughs> we have to go down deep, deep, deep till we get to the coal, Rosie. Oh, Jim. <laughs> it's all right, Rosie. I'm here. <laughs> Mind your step, John. I will. Yeah. OK. Oh, goodness. We're really deep underground now, aren't we? We are deep underground now, John. Yeah. We're underneath all those rocks that we saw earlier, mm -hmm. and we've reached the coal. Ah, all around here. All around us. Like a layer in a cake. It is. It's called a seam, John. A seam of coal. And what about these chaps here? These, these are not alive, are they? No, they're models, <laughs> John. Mm -hmm. And we have them here because we have people visit the mine, such as yourself, yeah. and we'd like them to see how mining was done many years ago. Yeah, yeah. Under the ground, like a rabbit to a bow. Here we go, digging for the bucky black hole. Hard work, this, isn't it, Rosie? 
They're not working very fast, aren't they, Rosie? Well, that's because they're models, Noodle Pay. Digging for coal in the magic wizard's cave. Digging for coal, we're strong and brave. Right, get some coal, put it yeah. in your bag. Yeah. One. One. Two. <laughs> two. Three. Three. Nowadays, we have machines, but it's still a very, very dangerous job. I can imagine that, yes. Oh, what's this? Huh? This is the hole that goes up to the surface, John. Oh, and it, I see it's got a, a chain in it. And it has. A lot of coal. That's right. That chain takes the coal up to the surface. <laughs> oh, Rosie, that must be how they whiz the coal all the way up to the outside again. <laughs> Put it in the top and whiz it to the top Send it to the world and sell it in a shop Phew! I'm glad to be out in the daylight again I didn't like it underground How much coal did we get, Rosie? Oops! It's a good thing I had the helmet on, isn't it? It certainly is, John. That was very interesting. I hope you enjoyed it. Really, this. really good visit. Oh, I just thought of something, talking of coal. I need some for the boat. Is there any way I could get a, get some coal? There certainly is. As you leave, John, you can pick some up off the bank just outside. Oh, thanks Help very yourself. much. That's lovely. I've got a really good load of coal here for the boat. Keep me warm on winter nights. More coal, please, uh, Mida Rosie. OK. <laughs> Under the ground like a rabbit or a mole. Here we go digging. For the monkey black coal. Okay. Put it in the pot and whiz it to the top. Send it to the world and sell it in a shop. Forgot. Get the sack onto the boat. There we go. Take the trolley back now to the people who loaned it to me. That's very kind of them. Rosie, he's got it again. <laughs> that means we can play coal mines again. <laughs> We've got lots of coal now, Rosie. Ooh, lots of Fiskog's coal. <laughs> <laughs> Under, Under the, the ground like a rabbit or a mole. Here we go, digging <laughs> for the deadly <laughs> black coal. <laughs> Put it in the pot <laughs> and whiz <laughs> it to the top. Send it to the world <laughs> and sell it in the shop. Oh, put it in Fiskog's sack. <laughs> He's coming back again. Oh, <laughs> Well, I have lots of ideas for my stories now. But first, I'll stoke the stove up, get it really warm. Oh, there's no coal in the hut. Where's it gone to? I'm sure I filled it up. Didn't I make a mess bringing it in? And look at Rosie and Jim. They've got coal dust all over their faces. I don't know. Never mind. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day, Rosie and Jim came to a funny place. A notice said, coal mine. What's that, said Jim. I don't know, Fispot, said Rosie. Let's go and find out. They went into a tunnel under the ground. I feel like a rabbit, said Jim. Have I got furry ears? No, noggin, said Rosie. But you have a mucky face. There was a wizard under the ground. He gave them a piece of magic stone. It's cold and mucky, said Rosie. And black, said Jim. 
It'll keep you warm on a frosty night, said the wizard. Never, said Jim. But they took it anyway. Then it was time to go home for tea. And when the black stone was safely in the stove, little fire demons came and danced on it, and it made the boat lovely and warm. That wizard was right, said Rosie. Magic, said Jim. Rosie! Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, tanking along on the old rag I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day. So I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the river with two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Well, I want to get going this morning, so I'll drink my coffee in a minute. Get my life jacket on first. Get the engine going. find something interesting to put into a story. Oh, Patcher's Pottery. That sounds good. I think I'll try and find that. <laughs> old potty old noggin. <laughs> he said we're going to a pottery. Rosie, what is a pottery? Hmm, a pottery. I've always wanted to see a place where they make cups and mugs and things like that. What's that? Oh, my favourite mug. Oh. Jim! Bye-bye, Muggins. 
Rosie. That was Fishgog's mug. Oh, well, never mind. The fishes and the frogs can drink out of it now. <laughs> Rosie, huh? they can make a house in it. They could make an underwater house. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Perhaps they can make me a new mug at the pottery. Rosie? Cows don't have mugs, do they? Oh, this <laughs> dog doesn't have a mug now. <laughs> <laughs> Poor fish dog. Yeah. <laughs> Poor old duck. He never ever had a mug, Jim. Hmm. He he just dips his beak in the water, does yeah. he? And he goes <laughs> gluggity glug, slurp, splosh, <laughs> splash. <laughs> Ah, there's a tricky piece of steering coming up under this bridge. I'll have to be extra careful. Under the bridge. Oh, there are two bridges. An old one and a new one. There's the old one that I've just gone under. I'm going to go under the new one now. There's a new bridge with the cars going over it. And ahead of me, I can see a good place to moor, so I'll make for it. That's it. I'm safely moored. I'll go and have a look at the pottery now. <laughs> Hello, fish dog, Rosie. <laughs> oh, there's a nice piece of squelchy mud. Play, Jim. No one's too old to play, Rosie. Oh. That's a really nice bit of mud. I wonder if I can make any shapes with it. It's really sticky and screwsly. I wonder if I could make a cup with it. Let's have a try. Make a nice big bowl. Put my thumbs in the middle. Oh, that's not bad, is it? I mean, it's quite a reasonable cup. I'll leave that there to dry out. I better wash my hands. And I'll get on to the pottery now. Ah, this must be it. I can see pots in the window. I'll go and have a look. That's a lovely one. Hello. Hello, good morning. Well, I think you can. I'm uh, looking for a mug, you see, because I live on a boat and I've dropped my favourite mug in the water. Have you been playing in the mud, by the way? No, this is clay. It's is very, it? very messy. Oh. What do you make with clay? Um, all sorts of things. Things Perhaps like this? I'm making mugs at the moment. Oh, could I see? I'd love to see course, one being made. Yes. Thanks very much. Through this way. My name's John, by the way. And I'm Julia. Nice to meet you. Oh, lots of mugs, Jim. Yeah, lots and lots of mugs, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been playing with some mud out of the ground outside, trying to make pots. Have you got a better way of doing it? Yes. If you whiz it around and around on the wheel, ah. you can make them much smoother. Mm -hmm. You have to use plenty of water. So you're starting with the same stuff that I started with. And you squeeze it. Ah. Change its shape. Oh, 
It's going nice and smooth, isn't it? Because it's going round. Nice and squishy. Squishy, squashy, Rosie. A whizzy wheel, Jim. You're keeping it wet so that it doesn't stick to your fingers, I expect, are you? Is that right? I am, yes. You have to use plenty of water. Yes. Ah, oh, up it comes. Pick up clay, pick it from the ground, slap it on a wheel and move it round and round. Squish it, shape it, slippery go, a mug for me and a mug for you. Cozy milk. She's making a mug. Oh, that's a lovely shape. It's still quite soft, isn't it? It's not. You can't drink out of them when they're this soft. They have to be put in an oven and made really hot. Ah, that's how it's done. I'd like to see that. So is this the hot place where you put the, the cups? That's right. I call it a kiln. Oh, I see. It's like a... Very big oven, isn't it? Yes, but it gets much, much hotter. Mm -hmm. So if you're putting these in now, you can't take them out until tomorrow. They'd be much too hot to touch. Mm. There they go. That's it. Shut, Shut the, door. the door. Are they going to cook a mug? I don't know. Cooked mugs. <laughs> oh. And I'd like to buy a finished mug now to take back to the boat with me. Would you like to come into the shop? Thank you. Oh, there's one with Rosie on it. I'd love that one. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and one over here. Jim. Well, I must have a Jim mug. And one with my name on it, John. I bet you'd like it full of tea. It's such yeah. a hot day, isn't I it? I would. Yes, it'd be very nice. <laughs> Let's go and put the kettle on. Mm, thanks very much. Ooh, cup of tea, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> hey, Rosie. We can use our nice new mugs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you very much. That's great. Hey, tea, Rosie? Uh-huh. Here we go. Add milk. And a little bit of milk. A little bit of milk. <laughs> Lovely. Tea. Uh Oh, 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 oh. it's all squishy. Yeah. Ah, I know why it's all squishy. It's because we haven't put it in the ladies. Hot kiln. Oh. <laughs> Rosie, look. <laughs> oh, a rosy mug. <laughs> A gin mug. Oh! <laughs> I'd better be getting back to my boat now. Let you make some more pottery. That's right. Mustn't forget your mug. I'll oh, pop no, it in doesn't... your bag for you. Good, thank you. There. <laughs> a mug for you, a mug for me. This is how we drink our tea. Jim. Mm. Rosie! <laughs> oh, he's coming. I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim were chugging along on the old rag doll when they came to a muddy place. They jumped in the mud. Squish, splish, splattery, splat. It's clay, said Rosie. Sticky, said Jim. I'm making a cup, said Rosie. Me too, said Jim. Their cups were all squishy, squashy. Splat, said Jim. Oh dear, said Rosie. They met a gypsy. Making cups, she said. Put them in the fire. Oh, said Jim. In the fire, said Rosie. They'll burn away. You'll see, said the gypsy. They made new cups, and the gypsy made a little brick house for them with a fire all round it. That'll do it, she said. Come back tomorrow. They did. 
Now the fire was cold. Look, said the gypsy. Real cups, said Rosie. Give them a wash, said the gypsy. Not squishy, said Jim. Have a cup of tea, said the gypsy. Thanks, said Rosie. Thanks, said Jim. Rosie! Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, Tanky Bellow on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a news story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, talking along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's back. Jim's drawing book, the world drifts by, the window frame, and Rosie and Tim we play our games. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and John he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a fine day, so I'll begin with that. One fine day. And then I'll draw the river with two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So, I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. Right, I'll get my life jacket on. Today, I'm going to find something really interesting to put into a story, because my book says that if I go along here a little way, I'll find a windmill, and that's really unusual. So I'll get the engine started, and on my way. Rosie. Where are we going to, Jim? Now, at this windmill, I can buy some flour to make some bread. Iskog said he's going to take us to a bread place. Mm. That's good, isn't it, Rosie? Because we use up lots of Iskog's bread. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. It makes me feel really hungry. Do you know, I don't know where all the bread goes to on this boat. There wasn't even enough to make me a sandwich this morning. Quack, quack, little duck, come for your bread. Double in the water, now you're fed. <laughs> I can just 
see the windmill over there? That's the place where I can get some flour to make some bread. It'll be a good walk. Oh, a field full of wheat. That's what they make flour from. It's just about ripe. And I don't think the farmer will mind if I just take one piece, just to have a close look. And I'm going to rub it in my hands and have a good look. I could make bread with this, if I could turn it into flour. I'll get on my way to the windmill now. <laughs> what a noggin. This doesn't look like bread, Rosie. No, bread comes from shops. Mm. <gasps> <gasps> Quick, let's follow Fizzcock. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. How do you do? Hello. My name's John. I'm Max. I'm the miller here. Oh, you're the miller? Yes. Just the man I want to see. I've been collecting some sample of uh, wheat as I came along through the field. Yes, yeah, so that's a nice sample. A little bit of chaff in there, but we could soon winnow that away with the wind. So, what do these sails do? Well, they catch the wind, and that drives round the sails, which turns the machinery within the mill. Oh, I see. These sails go round, and wheels go round inside. They do. And change wheat into flour. Into fine wholemeal flour. I'd love to see that. Well, why don't you come and have a look inside? Thank you very much. What did he say, Jim? I think he said he'd turned this wheat stuff into flour. Oh, what? Inside the windmill? Mm. <gasps> oh, Jim, what makes it go round? He said it was the wind that blows it round. Oh. <laughs> 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 The old windmill is turning round, round and round, round and round. The old windmill is turning round, blowing in the wind. <laughs> blowing it round. <laughs> well, John, the wheat's now coming down the spout mm -hmm. and into the hopper. Oh, yes. Where does it go to next? From then on, it feeds into the millstones, mm -hmm. and rather like these stones, yeah. the wheat is cut up between the top stone and the bottom stone, mm -hmm. and that turns it into fine wholemeal flour. Oh, I see. If we yeah. go downstairs, we can see it coming into the mill. I'd love to see that. And here we've got a nice sack of wheat, just like the wheat that I found in the field. Yes, that's a good local wheat, which has been harvested, taken into the barn, Mm -hmm. Given a good walloping, then into the granary to dry, and now it's in a cracking good condition, it's ready for the mill. And it's inside the mill, ready to go upstairs, I believe, isn't yes, it? Yes, right? this is where we use the power of the wind again. By putting the sack into the miller's grip, we can take it up through the floors. Mm -hmm. Oh, goody! Lots more stuff! Rosie, <laughs> I think this stuff <laughs> is the same stuff we found in the field. It's all, it's all nice and nibbly nubbly. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> hey, Jim, look down there a minute. Look yeah. down there, look. Oh. Look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> gallery, John, at the top of the mill. Uh-huh. And what are you up to? Well, the sack of wheat's come up and I'm going to tip it in the bin. Yes. And then it'll feed down through the millstones. And I'll see it coming down. You will indeed. Right, oh. Yeah. Up. 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 
Rosie? Yeah? This old mill has missed and smissed all that wheat into flour. flour. It looks like snow. <laughs> <laughs> Those look like footsteps across there, and they can't be ours because they're far too small. Yes, and they're far too large for mice, and they've made a terrible mess. They have, haven't they? Stay out, we'll soon clear that up. Could I buy some flour before I go? Yes, I'd be only too pleased to Thank serve you. it with some. Well, there you are, John. I hope that will make some lovely bread. Shall we, Jim? Goodness me. What's going on? It's annoying flour, isn't it? It can't be those mice. Oh, goodness me. Is it the wind in the couple of dollars or something? Something up there. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for a lovely look round. Right, well, it's a pleasure. You've been thank very you. welcome. Thank you. Bye bye. Goodbye. Jim, this is how Fizzcock makes bread, you know. Mm. He's been busy, hasn't he, Rose? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mix the flour, mix the flour, bake a rosy. Need the dough, need the dough, bake. And shape it and squatchy squidgy And pop in the oven for Ducky and me Mix the flour, mix the flour, bake a rosy Knead the dough, knead the dough, bake a gym Pat it and shape it all squatchy squidgy And pop in the oven for Ducky and me Right, I'll get my bread in the oven now. Let's have a look at it. Oh, look at that one. It looks like a duck, doesn't it? It's a funny shape. Anyway, how many have I got? One, two, three, four, and a duck. That makes five. Careful of the hot oven. And it goes. Well, that'll take about half an hour to bake. I know what I'll do whilst it's baking. I'll go and get some honey to eat with it. That'll be lovely. Pat a cake, Rosie. Yeah. <laughs> pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me some bread as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with D. And pop in the oven for Ducky and me. Fizzcock's <laughs> coming. We've pat a cake too long. Come on, Jim. <laughs> Mmm, I've got a lovely jar of honey. Hot brown bread and honey, that's what I'm looking forward to. Mmm, lovely. Now then, hey, only three? I'm sure I had four rolls. One, two, three and a duck. Hmm, strange. <laughs> a little bit of honey. Mmm, delicious. That's given me a really good idea for a story. So I'll get on with it. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One fine day. Rosie and Jim were travelling along on the old rag doll when they saw a big whizzy thing far across the fields. There's a giant waving to us, said Rosie. Let's go and see, said Jim. It wasn't a giant. It was a windmill with great sails whizzing round and round. There was a man in it. The man in the wind, said Rosie. The man in the wind gave them a bag of flour. Mix it with water, he said, and make anything you like. They made a little house with chairs and tables. The house began to grow until it was so big that Rosie and Jim could go into the house and sit at the table. Let's have a party, said Jim. The duck came and brought his friends. There was a cow, a sheep, a dog and a cat. They were all hungry. What shall we eat, said Jim. Noggin, said Rosie. There's nothing in the cupboard. 
The cow at the walls, the sheep at the chairs, the cat at the chimney. It's all bread, Noggins, said Rosie. Soon there was only a pile of crumbs for the little birds that flew down. That's the end of our magic house, Fizzpot, said Rosie. Rosie and Jim went home to their boat. That was made of steel. No one could eat that. Rosie! Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, tagging along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day. So I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Well, today I want to go and explore the town of Tewkesbury. I'm sure I'll get some good ideas for stories there. If I go along this way, I'll soon be there. So I'll get started up and cast off. Where are we going to, Jim? My goodness, there's a lot of traffic up there. Cars and buses and lorries. You know, sometimes it's so noisy that it gives me a headache. going somewhere really quiet and sitting down and having a good think. It isn't very quiet with that big factory buzzing away. Speak up, Fizzport! Can't hear you! Rosie, I said, what did Fizzport? Can't you stop that clatter batter? He wants to go somewhere quiet. Rosie, I can't hear what I want. 
want to say. Can't you be quiet? That's it, Duncan. That's what he said. He wants to go somewhere quiet. I'm coming to Tewkesbury along here. Well, that's a busy place, but my book says it has a beautiful church in it, and that's just the sort of place I need for my quiet think. So, I'll tie up along here and go and have a look at it. Oh, I think I'll go with him. It's a bit noisy here. Rosie, shush! If you do come, why, Goblin? Oh, well, it won't be. It won't be quiet anymore if you're noisy, will it? Oh, okay. Come on then. <laughs> Whoops. than fish cock. Yeah. Oh, he's going in. Rosie. Yeah. Come on. It's a wonderful church, isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic here. Jim, hmm? did he say church? Hmm. That's what this place must be, Rosie. I love the great columns. They're like huge tree trunks with branches arching over the top. Well, what do people do in churches, Jim? Oh, uh, well... It's a place where you go to talk to God and have a quiet think. Well, can't you do that at home? Hmm. <laughs> Not when you're going bangity bangity bang bang bang. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a beautiful window. Well, we're very lucky to have such lovely windows here because when the, the evening sun comes round, it casts lovely rainbow patterns all over the place. May we have a look uh, along here? Let's go and look at the organ, because I'm just going up oh, to play it. That's a good idea. I'll play a chord on each of the, the, these manuals, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you'll hear just the sort of sound they can produce. Thank you. as my fingers actually playing on the keyboards 
I have two feet to play on another keyboard, and it's called the pedal board. And so if I couple, as we call it, all these sounds together, we should get quite a big noise. What a marvellous place it is, Dukesbury Abbey. I really loved it. And I heard some beautiful music in there. I wish I could play the organ like that. my story now. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim were travelling along on the old rag doll when they came to such a noisy, horrid place. What shall we do, said Rosie? Send Duck, said Jim, to the hermit of Breeden Hill. The old man came down from his hill to see what was the matter. Can you magic the noise away, said Jim. I'll see what I can do. When he heard the cars and the lorries and the buses, he pulled a face in with a dispel. All the noises disappeared. But without their noises, the cars and buses and lorries couldn't go. They were stuck still on the spot. Oh, what a kerfuffle there was. Children couldn't go to school. Their mums and dads couldn't go to the shops. Boats couldn't go along the river. The whole town came to a stop. People began to argue and shout and fight. It was worse than ever. The hermit said another spell to put the noise back again. 
You'll just have to put up with it, he said. We'll have to grow flaps on our ears, said Rosie. But there's a nice, quiet place over there, said the hermit. Lovely, said Jim. Rosie! Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, talking along on the old red dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Go to play and have a look With Rosie's bag Jim drawing book The world drifts by The window frame And Rosie and Jim we play our games Wah! Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim Finding stories every day Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim And John he writes them down <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? It's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One. Cloudy. Stay. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. Mustn't forget my life jacket. That's it. Well, today, I'm going along the River Avon, right along here to a place called Ashorn Hall. So I'll get the engine started and on my way. They have a lot of pianos at Ashorn Hall, and they're very strange pianos because they play all by themselves. We've got drums that do that as well, and all kinds of other musical instruments. Jim, he said we were going to go all the way down here to see things that work by themselves. And, Rosie, he said we're going to go all down there yeah. to see... Um, Drums that work by themselves, <laughs> Rosie. <laughs> drums. Drum, 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 <laughs> drum. Ooh. There's a strange noise somewhere. I wonder what it is. I wonder if it's my radio. Jim, and and Rosie and Jim. And Rosie and Jim. <laughs> I wonder what that noise can be. It's very strange. I wonder if it's my radio. No, it's not the radio, it's off. 
No, it's impossible. It's just a wooden duck. Couldn't make a noise like that. <laughs> I don't know. It's very strange. <laughs> he likes this. Yeah. <laughs> Dancing flowers? Oh. Morning! Dancing flowers, Rosie. Hey, flowers! Try our music to dance to. Yes, it's much better. Yeah. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim. Come on! They're a noisy lot with their dancing flowers. Oh. There's something else that works by itself. That girl's playing more music. Rosie? Huh? She's playing on a, on a key, key... On a keyboard, silly. <laughs> and now it's playing by itself. Yeah. Do you think she'd like to listen to our music? Yes. Let's play it louder for her. Yeah. Da, da, da. Rosie and Jim. Rosie Sorry and about Jim. the noise. <laughs> For goodness sake, what is all this noise? I don't know. Oh, poor Fizzgog. He's not happy. No. Rosie? Yeah? Our, our music will make him happy. Yeah. Let's make some more music for him. Yeah. Come on, quickly. Well, at least it's nice and quiet here. Come on, Rosie. Come on! <laughs> well, that's amazing, a piano that plays by itself and with violins. Well, come with me and I'll show you some more. Oh, thank you very much. Jim, this plays music by itself. Rosie? Yeah? This must be a magic piano. Oh, yeah, I know. Let's make some more music for Fizzgog. Yeah. yeah well, um, it's that... Oh, no, oh, no it isn't that <laughs> button. <laughs> oh, dear. It's this one. There. <gasps> Rosie, yeah. more music. More music. <laughs> I wonder how that happened. I'm really sorry about this. I can't understand what's going on. It's very strange, isn't it? It is. And if you'd like to come this way, I'll show you something else. Oh, thank else. you. Oh, poor fish dog. He needs lots more music. <laughs> Oh, do you think I could go somewhere quiet now, please? Turning it round, turning it round, turning it round till it stops. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie. 
Rosie. Yeah. That's nice, quiet music for fish yeah, dog. It's <laughs> lovely. I was turning. Oh, <laughs> Mm, this is a lovely one, isn't it? Nice and quiet, too. Yes, but come and have a listen to this one over here. Oh, thank you. I hope it's not noisy. I've got one just like that on my boat. Oh, there's another one like the ones I have on my boat. Well, thank you very much for a fascinating visit. It's been a pleasure having you. I think I'll go and rest my ears on the boat now. Bye-bye. Goodbye. A nice, quiet place. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, with all that music buzzing in my ears, I think I'll go on the boat and have a nice, quiet rest. Ooh, that's nice. Somebody's left a chair and a cushion for me. I think I'll sit down and have a nice, quiet sleep. Dog's resting his ears. Shh, Rosie. Let's only play with the quiet things. Here. Yes. Yeah. What? What's the first quiet thing? Rosie. Yeah. Shall I see? Yes. <laughs> turning the wheel. Turning the wheel. Turning the wheel till it stops. Rosie, yeah. where's that thing? Uh, um, what is Rosie? Yeah? Here it is. Yes, see whether it's quiet. Right. Ooh. Yeah, that's quiet. Yeah, that's a very quiet thing. What's next? I'll see. <laughs> turning the wheel, turning the wheel, turning the wheel till it stops. Oh, now that must be um, um, oh, this one. Oh yeah, Rosie. Yeah. See how quiet that thing is. Okay. Oh, that wasn't a quiet thing. No, I don't. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? I'll see. Turning the wheel, turning the wheel, turning the wheel till it stops. <gasps> oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Oh no. Rosie? Yes? I don't think that is a quiet thing. Rosie, don't. Okay, too. Rosie, don't. Okay, too. No. Oh! <laughs> Jim? Rosie? Jim? Rosie? It wasn't quiet. No! And fish dog's coming! Oh, quick! Come oh, it's no good trying to sleep here. I think I'll just go and do some work. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day, Rosie and Jim came to a big house in the countryside. They went in to have a look. It was full of pianos. Ooh, noggin, said Rosie. I wish I could play the piano. Jim had a try. It didn't sound very nice. Then, click, whiz, the piano began to play by itself. What a jolly tune. Would you like the first dance, said Rosie. My pleasure, said Jim. They danced all round the room. Look, said Jim. He has an accordion like ours, said Rosie. Hello, said Jim. I like your music. 
is fizzy, said Rosie. The accordion player said nothing. He didn't even smile. He's not friendly, said Jim. Look, said Rosie, he's full of wheels. No wheels in there, said Rosie. More cuddly, said Jim. That's right, said Rosie. Time to go home, said Jim. Rosie. <laughs> Jim! <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, talking along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Go to play and have a look With Rosie's bag Jim drawing book The world drifts by The window frame And Rosie and Jim we play our games Wah! Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim Finding stories every day Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim And John he writes them down <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put? in my story today. It's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One. Cloudy. Stay. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. Right, I'll get my life jacket on. Well, today I'm going out into the countryside, along the River Severn, all along here. So I'll get my engine going and on my way. I'm in lovely countryside today. It just makes me feel like going for a walk and stretching my legs. Jim, this cook said that we were going to go all the way down here to stretch our legs. You mean we're going to go all the way down there, Rosie? Yeah. To get stretched legs like that? Ha, <laughs> ha, ah! Find the water! You have to take care near the water and not do anything silly. Then you can enjoy yourself safely. <laughs> take care by the water. Yeah. Jim, he's taking care of them. Yeah, taking care of them. Yeah. Hmm, they look as if they're having a good walk. I'll be doing the same myself soon. Oh, there's a swan with her signets. And one of them is having a ride on her back. That's a good way of taking care of it. Jim! 
them. <gasps> She's taking care of them. Yeah. Oh, I think I'll stop somewhere along here and have my walk. Right, I'm off to stretch my legs now. Ah, oh, here's a style. You get a lot of these in the countryside. <laughs> it's a good way of getting over a fence. Rosie? Yeah? Is this dog stretching his legs now? Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, not good. He looks all right to me. <laughs> no, Rosie. He doesn't mean making his legs longer. Yeah. He means taking great big steps. Oh, 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 oh. Get up, Jim. Get up. <laughs> come on, Rosie. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, I wonder how they got out. And there's their mum the other side of the fence. I'll go and see if I can find the gate to get them back in. Those lambs are running the wrong way. Oh dear, I don't know how I'm ever going to get these lambs back to their mum. I don't know. Oh dear. Oh, poor Fiskog. Hello there. Hello. Hello. Are these your lambs? Yes, they're my lambs. I've been trying to catch them. How do you catch them? It's hard work like that. I've got a sheepdog. He's a great oh. help. I'll go and fetch him. My right. Land Rover. Hang on there just a moment. You know. <gasps> Come on. Rosie, that sheepdog is called Don. Don's a lovely dog. Rosie, look. Here's my dog. Oh. Get on, get on. Come here, here. This is what we need. Right, sit there, Don. Sit. Right, you ready? <laughs> Don's helping that man with those baby lambs. <gasps> Isn't Don clever? One over. <laughs> That's it. Ah. Oh. Dogs lay there, look, something to run away. Well done. Well done. He's a real helper. Thank yes. you very much. <laughs> Hooray! The baby lambs are back with their mummy. Yeah. They're all safe now, Rosie. Yes. <laughs> I thought you'd be interested to see the dog working. Oh, yes, I'd love to see that. Excellent. Mm, thank you. Come on, Don. Good, Don. Right, now we send Don away to fetch the sheep, shall we? Mm -hmm. I'll send him over to the right. You go. Yes. Over behind the bank. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I hope the sheep will appear over the horizon. Don, away to me. Oh, come on. Away. Get away. Away. Away, Don. Away, Don. Get away. Move on. Move on. Good dog. Move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Come by. Come by. Come by. Come by. Come by. Come by. Don't get away. Good dog. Move on. Get away. 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 Good dog. Bring him on. Away. Telling Don what to do? Yeah. Come by, and you know, Don. Well, Don's telling the sheep what to do. Yeah. And those sheep are all doing what Don tells them to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Away, Don. Good dog. Bring him on. Come by. Come by. <laughs> Away. Away, Don. <laughs> Away, Don. Come on, come by. Good dog. Go on. Come by. <laughs> That's what that man's shouting. Away, Dud. Away, Dud. <laughs> come on. That's it. Move on. Sit. <laughs> 
Sex doll. <laughs> Rosie? Yeah. When he said sit, yeah. he wanted Don to sit down. <laughs> Not us to sit down, no. Noggin. What? You've got a muddy bottom. <laughs> oh, God. Rosie? <laughs> yeah. Muddy bottom? Yeah. Rosie? Yeah. You've got a muddy body as well. No, I have. Oh, I have. <laughs> uh, uh, right, I've just got to load a few of these sheep in my trailer, John. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you think you'll give me a hand? Certainly. If we have the dog at the back here. Come on. Come on. Come on, dog. Come on. That's a good dog. Bring him on. Bring him on. Bring him on. Yeah? Is Fish Dog helping Don with those sheep? Um, yes. He's he's helping Don look after them. Come on, Don. Get on. Come on here. Come on. Yeah, come on. Get on. Good. Well, it's a good thing you've got Don to help you to care for the sheep, isn't it? <laughs> By Jove, I couldn't manage without him. No, it's wonderful. No. I reckon he's worth what? Four men? <laughs> yes. I reckon. <laughs> Would you like to run after those sheep the way no, they can go? I wouldn't, no. no. You're a good dog. Uh, good. Well, thank you very much, John. That, uh, thank you excellent. very much for showing me. Uh, wonderful you turning up at the right time yes, today. Yes, it was great. I'm thank enjoying you. it. Good. Thank you, Don. OK. Thank you. Cheerio, then. Bye-bye. See you again. Come on, Fizz Gog's going. We've played too long. Bye, Don. Bye, Don. Come on. Oh, Come by, Jim. Come by. Woof! Come by! Come by! Bring them round! Away! Away, boy! Bring them round! Yeah. Jim! Jim! Wake up! Wake up, Noggin! We're going to play sheepdog! Rosie! Yeah? I'm too tired to play sheepdog! Oh, please, Noggin! Just play one game with me! Are you ready? Yes, Good! Rosie. Right! Baba sheepdog, gather up your sheep! One sheep, One two sheep. sheep, two sheep, run, stop, creep. And again, Noggin, I like that. <laughs> Rosie, <laughs> yeah. I'm too tired to play more sheep dog. Oh, just one more time. Go on. <laughs> I know I'm going to show you how to do it. Wake up. Mm -hmm. Right, now. Baba sheep dog, gather up your sheep. One sheep. One sheep. <laughs> Two sheep. Two sheep. Oh, oh, oh run, stop, stop. creep. Hello, Duck. I'm glad you took care of the boat the way that dog took care of the sheep. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day, Rosie and Jim met a sheepdog. Hello, they said. Who are you? I'm a sheepdog, said the dog. Sheepdogs are not supposed to look like sheep, said Rosie. They just round sheep up, said Jim. I'm a different kind, said the dog. I round rag dolls up. We don't want to be rounded up noodles, said Rosie. You don't get to choose, said the dog. And he began rounding up Rosie and Jim. He rounded them up a hill and through a stream. He rounded them through some prickly bushes and some sticky mud. Stop, 
shouted Rosie. Nearly finished, said the dog. Through a hedge and over a stile, and there was the rag doll. That's it, said the dog. That's what, noggin, said Rosie. Finished, said the dog. Rounding up always finishes at home, especially with rag dolls. What about ducks, said Jim. But the dog had gone. Looking for something else to round up, I suppose, said Jim. He's got it all wrong, said Rosie. Rosie. <laughs> Jim! <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. Go to play and have a look With Rosie's bag Jim drawing book The world drifts by The window frame And Rosie and Jim we play our games Quack. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim Finding stories every day Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim And John he writes them down <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children, just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put? in my story today. It's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One. Cloudy. Stay. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. I'm watering my flowers today. Because I like to keep my boat looking really nice. That's about finished. Right, I'll get my life jacket fastened. I'm going all the way along here to Gloucester. So I'll get started and on my way. I think today I'll go to Gloucester to see the Waterways Museum. I'll be able to find out there all about how people used to paint their boats and decorate them in the old days. Used to paint them with flowers and roses and patterns. Jim, Fiskook 
said that we were going to go all the way down here to deck, deck, <laughs> well, um, um, yeah. decorate, Rosie. Decorate. Yeah. 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 Jim. Mm -hmm. Well, what is decorate? <laughs> I think Rosie yeah. said it's to make things look all nice and have patterns on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that lovely water can. My goodness. I wish my can had flowers on it like that. Roses. It'd be lovely. Rosie, look at those lovely, lovely decor. Decorations, Jim. Decorations. Yeah, mm. more flowers. Yeah. There's got once a painted can with roses on it. Just like their one. Yeah. Ah, here's the Waterways Museum, where people come to see how life was lived on boats on the waterways in the olden days. Lots of children come here as well. There are all kinds of things for them to do here. Jim, Fizzlecock said that that is a museum. Hmm. That's a place where you see how people lived in the olden days, Rosie. Oh. And children come here to do lots of things. Yeah, come on! Yeah. I think if we change colours, it's like we're not a Ah, this looks interesting. Rose is a little bit like hello. Otto. Hello. My goodness, they're doing some lovely decorations here, yes, aren't they? Yes, they really have this morning. The roses are really nice. Like. Yes. That's just the sort that I'd like on my boat. Ah, oh, Jim! They're painting their own flowers. Yeah. We could paint fish dogs on green water can. Yes! It's still on the boat! Yeah. Come on! Right, children, how many of you would like to dress up in the costume that the canal boat people wore a long time ago? Lots of you, most of you, in fact. Let's have a boy and a girl to start, shall we? Gemma, Debbie. Lovely. Hello. You're just dressed like the people on the boats a long time ago, aren't you? Yes, we are. That's lovely. <laughs> Jim, look. Look at that lady. She's all dressed up like a long time ago person. Just like we are, Rosie. Yeah, <laughs> like us. Yeah. Rosie, yeah. she's decorating that little blue pot. Yeah, let's see if she'll paint Fizzgog's water can with oh, yeah. nice roses. <laughs> okay then, Rosies. Uh, I mean, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. <gasps> Here they come. Yeah. The children. Oh, yeah. They'll help us, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> What's this can doing here? The children must have left it. It certainly needs painting. Oh, I wonder what I can put on it. Red doll. Red doll. My goodness, there's the lady who paints all those lovely roses on the water cans. I wonder if she can paint mine that I've got back on the rag doll. I'll go and see. Excuse me. Hello. I just noticed what beautiful work you're doing. And I wondered if you could paint a can for me. I'd be delighted. Jim, yeah. <laughs> she's putting roses on Fizzcock's water can. Yeah. Right, I've nearly finished this one. 
Oh, well, I'll go and get the camera from my boat. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> Jim, we have to get the can back to the rag doll before Fiskook sees it's gone. Yeah, Rosie. Yeah? Otherwise, there won't be any can there at all. No. Wait, come on. Come on. Wow. <laughs> You slow coach! Oh, Jim! <laughs> Jim! Oh! Oh! Rosie! Oh, yeah? Time to take a long time ago. Close back now. Come on. Oh, no! Knock in! Oh, oh. You'll have to do it. There. Me? Yeah. Lazy bone. Yeah. There. Fist dog! Oh, look! Sally's already painted my can. Look at all these lovely roses that she's painted. And she's even put the name of my boat on it, Ragdoll. Isn't that super? I'll go and say thank you. A little bit of yellow. <laughs> there. And a little bit of green. <laughs> Make fizz gog nice roses. The best he's ever seen. There. What you doing, Jim? I've just painted Fizzgog a nice rose, Rosie. Yeah, and I've just made Fizzgog two nice roses, and one of them's blue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right then. A uh, little bit of blue there, and a bit more blue, and a little bit of red. There. Paint fish, gog nice roses before I go to bed. There, Rosie, I've yeah. made one, two, three roses now. Yeah, well, Jim, I've made. Ta da! Four. Four roses. Oh, <laughs> right then. A uh, little Ooh. bit of yellow oh, or green. <laughs> yellow or green. <laughs> And a little bit more. And a little bit of yellowy green. <laughs> Take these gold nice <laughs> roses. The best he's ever seen. Rosie? Yes? I've made one, two, three, four, five roses now. Yeah, well, I've made lots. We've got how many then? Lots and lots. But how many, Rosie? Um, um, about this many. <laughs> You pig doggy. <laughs> <laughs> there. Lovely roses for fish dog. <laughs> and lots and lots of <laughs> more roses for fish dog. More roses. <laughs> Rosie. Yeah? Fish dog. Oh, oh, quick. Oh, more roses. That's lovely. And a lovely picture as well. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day, Rosie and Jim were on the old rag doll. Where is Rosie, said Jim. He heard a faint voice. yoo -hoo. Jim! Jim looked at the picture painted on the boat. It's a play pretend game, said Jim. He closed his eyes and pretended he was in the picture. And bingo, wingo, there he was. Rosie looked down. Come on, noggin, get on with rescuing me, she said. The door's locked, said Jim. 
Ooh, noggin, said Rosie. You'll have to climb up then. But Jim couldn't climb up. Hang on, said Rosie. I'll let down my hair. Rosie let her hair down for Jim to climb up. But Jim could not reach it. You're not much use as a rescuing prince, said Rosie. In a moment, the door opened and out came Rosie. You had the key all the time, said Jim. Noggin, said Rosie. Of course I did. I just wanted to be rescued, that's all. Time for home, said Jim. Rosie. <laughs> Jim! <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens, like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. I'm just getting the ashes out of my stove. It won't burn properly with them in. And I've got a special poker to do it with. It's got a duck's head for a handle. Isn't that nice? The only thing is, it's got bent in the middle. I wonder how that happened. I don't know. Anyway, I'll give it a wash out in the river. Oh, oh, oh no! I've dropped my favourite poker in the river. And it's gone to the bottom. I'll never get it out. Oh, dear. Right, I've got my life jacket on. And if I look in my book, I'm sure I'll find a place where I can find a new poker. Let's see. Yes, I'm going along here today. So, I'll get going. Thanks, Doc! 
We're moving, Rosie. Where are we going to, Jim? Let's see. My book says that in Gloucester is a blacksmith. And that's good because he makes things out of iron like pokers. And I need a new poker. So perhaps he'll make one for me. Jim, Fizz Cook said that we were going to go all the way down here to find someone that can make things with iron. Jim? What? What are you doing, Noggin? I'm fishing. What for? For fish. Fishing. Oh. For fish. Oh. Rosie. Uh, Rosie. I think yeah? I've caught something. It's a bit heavy. Help. Oh, oh OK. Oh. He oh. That's not a fish. No, Jim. That is Fizz Dog's ducky poker, Rosie. Yeah. Yeah. There are so many things made of iron and steel. There's that bridge and the crane over there. They must be very, very strong. This looks like the place. This is where I can find the man who can make me a new poker. Oh, dear. Huh? Jim, did you hear that? Fizzgog said that he knows where the giant is. Oh, Rosie, I don't think I want to go to see a great big giant. Yeah, but, well... We have to, because then he can straighten out Fizzgog's ducky poker. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Then Fizzgog won't need to buy a new ducky poker. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Come, Come on. on. Oh, this is the place. Hello. Oh. I believe you make pokers here, is that right? Yes, we do, yes. Well, yeah. I've done a silly thing, you know, because I live on a boat, and I've dropped my poker in the river. Oh, I've never found it. Fizzgog, we found a ducky poker! Fizzgog! Yeah. Well, where's that great big giant? Um, I don't know. Come on, let's see. Yes, I've got, I've got this one, which I've just made. It's a ram's head poker. My it's goodness. It fire. It's very hot, isn't it? Yes. And it's, it? a, it's a beautiful poker, but, well, what I'd really like would be a duck's head. Is that possible? <laughs> Duck's head. Um, I'm not sure if we've got a duck's head in, but I'll go and look for you. Thank you very much. Uh, what do we got here? Ah, oh, that looks like a duck's head. Yes, that'll do. <laughs> Rosie, yeah? that man's found Fizz Dog's poker. Oh! You're in luck. I've got one here. I'm afraid it's a bit bent, though. Oh, my goodness me, that's perfect. It's just like the one I lost. But it is bent, isn't it? It is rather. But if you um, let me, I'll, I'll straighten it out in the fire oh, for you. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. You're right. <laughs> Rosie. Yes? It is the ducky poker that he lost. Yeah. <laughs> but he couldn't straighten Fizzgog's ducky poker. No. No. <laughs> What's happening here? First we get the fire nice and hot. Oh, I see. I suppose you have to be very careful with a hot fire like that, haven't you? You've got to be very careful with safety, as you wear your gloves and special goggles. Oh, yeah. With it. Mm. <gasps> Jim, 
they said that that oh that that is very very hot. Oh, Rosie. Yeah. Yeah. We must keep away from that very very hot thing. Yeah. Let's stay here. Yeah. yeah. Rosie. Yeah. He's made fish dogs iron poker go all fiery red. Yeah. And it's all hot and glowy. Glowy red. Yeah. Oh, is he straightening the poker now? Yeah, he's bringing it to the anvil now to straighten with the arm, with the oh. armor. Mm -hmm. Then he mm -hmm. takes it over to the machine and he finishes off straightening it with that. <gasps> Jim! Well, the, 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 that, the, the, that man! That well, the, man, yeah. Rosie, yeah. has straightened that ducky poker. Yes, he can straighten that ducky poker. Rosie? Yeah? The fire made it soft. My goodness me, that was hot, wasn't it? Yes, the water soon cools it down. He'd have a job to bend it now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Here you are, John. Duck's head poker. Oh, wonderful. I think that's really beautiful. Even Great. better than the one I lost. Thank you very much. All right, bye bye. You. And he banged it, and he made a straight ducky poker. <laughs> Come on. Well, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, John. I'm looking forward to having this on my boat. Goodbye, safe journey, John. Bye bye. Thank you. There, put that on my head. Now I look like a big metal bending giant. Excuse me, Mrs. Big Strong Giant. Um, I'm Mrs. Big Strong Giant. What? Well, I've got a ducky poker, but it's got all bent. Could oh. you straighten it for me? Oh dear! All right, pass it over here. Oh, thank yeah. you. Bang, 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 and he bang straight it out as fast as you can. <laughs> Ding dong. Oh. And he bang, the hammer goes clatter, the iron goes clang. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much, Mrs. Giant. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Back oh, to my bang. Um, Mrs. Giant. Mrs. Giant. What? Well, I've just got a few more other things that need bending. Oh, dear. OK, pass them over. Oh, thank you, you big, strong giant. Oh, <laughs> right, get my hammers then. Right. Bang, bang. Uh, clangity, clang. Straighten it out as fast as you can. Hello, Duck. I didn't know you could eat bananas. Anyway, have a nice dinner. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim came to some curly-whirly gates. I wonder who lives there, said Rosie. Let's go and see, said Jim. But the curly-whirly gates would not open. The sun came out and made everything hot. The curly-whirly gates began to uncurl. They're made of toffee, said Jim. Yum, yummy, said Rosie. They ate the toffee 
until there was a hole in the gate, and they went into the garden. They came to a curly-whirly bridge over deep water. We can't walk on that, said Jim. It'll melt and drop us in the water. Oh, noggin, said Rosie. I want to see that house. A man came out of the house with a big hammer. Hello, he said. I'm the blacksmith. Do you want to walk on my bridge? We don't want to fall in the water, noggin, said Rosie. My bridge is an iron bridge, said the blacksmith. It won't melt in the sun. Rosie and Jim walked across the bridge. He was right, said Rosie. But you can't eat it, said Jim. Gobbin, said Rosie. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. The End Jim! Rosie! <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim Chugging along on the old rag doll Rosie and Jim Rosie and Jim and John, he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim drawing book, the world drifts by the window frame. And Rosie and Jim, we play our games. Quack. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim. Rosie and Jim and John, he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Right, I'll just fasten my life jacket up and I'll be safe. Well, today I'm going along the River Severn. Along this way, over there. And my boat says there are lots of woods that way. They look interesting. Should be good for a story, shouldn't they? I'll go and have a look, get the engine started. <gasps> Oops! I'd forgotten I was so far out from the bank. My goodness, I don't feel like going for a swim today. I'd better get my plank to walk across. <laughs> Thanks, Doc! <gasps> Jim! We're not moving! Oh. What's this dog up to? Don't know, come on! <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, no! I've broken my plank! Oh, well, that decides what I'll have to do today. I'll have to get a new wooden plank for my boat. She said we were going to go all the way down here to get a new plank. Get a new plank? Yeah. All down there? 
just to get a new plank. Yeah. Where do planks come from? Don't know. Oh, my poor old plank. I was really fond of the plank, you know. <clears throat> I'd better get the bits out of the water. I'm sure they'll come in useful. Oh, see? Yeah? Fizzgog's broken our plank. <gasps> Naughty Fizzgog. I'll just put the bits down here by duck. Right, all ready to go now. I'll be off. Plank. Yeah. Where do new planks come from? Don't know, Rosie. Hmm. I know. We'd better mend this one for Fiskog. Yeah, yeah let's if mend got, this one. Yeah, if we've got some plasters. Plasters. Oh, that's good. They're planting some new trees. One day, they'll be as big as those trees over there. Rosie, can you hold it, please? Jim, he said that those are new trees. Where? Ah, oh, Rosie. Yeah? Those are new little trees, aren't they? Yeah, and one day they're going to grow as big as those trees <gasps> big, over big, there. Big, big trees. Pull duck. Ro <laughs> Rosie, you said you'd hold it. Jim, that lady is banging and scratching that, that thing over there. Oh, that looks like hard work. It's tough wood. She said wood. It's called wood. Oh, Duck, pull, pull that edge. Rosie, hold that edge. Now. Pardon? Oh, what a noise. It's those trees being cut down. I think I'll go and have a look. They're going to saw that tree down. Rosie? Yeah? He just said that they're going to saw... saw... do something to those trees, Rosie. Yeah, I think that he will cut it and cut it until it falls right over. Right, all, all the way down. <gasps> Jim! Rosie? Yeah? It just did crash down. Yeah, I told you it would. Oh, now he's cutting it into logs. He's cutting that tree up. Yeah, he's cutting it up into lots of bits, Jim. Oh, look, they've come to collect some wood. They're putting one of the logs onto their trailer. They're taking that bit of tree somewhere. Why? Don't know. I wonder where they're taking that log. Oh, well. I'll get on my way now. Oh, that looks like a good place to stop. Bended plank for fish dog. <laughs> Well, I'll go and get my new plank. Rosie? Yeah? Didn't even see our nice mended plank. I know. Oh, good morning. Good morning. I saw you getting your log where they were cutting the trees down. Yes, I'm cutting it up to make things. Ah, well, I live on a boat and I've got a plank that I've broken. Would it be possible for you to make me a new one? Yes, I can make one out of this log. <laughs> 
Jim, what? it's the same bit of tree. Hmm. Where is he? Huh? He said he's going to make something out of that tree. Make something? Hmm. What's he going to make? Don't know. I'm going to cut this log up using this saw. Oh, it's a nice old machine, isn't it? It is an old machine, but it'll do the job. Mm -hmm. Jim, hmm? he said saw. Saw, Rosie? Yeah. What's a saw? I don't know. Rosie, mm -hmm. that's what a saw is. <laughs> yeah, it's that funny machine thing that's cutting up that tree going. Mm. <coughs> saw, 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 saw. <laughs> <laughs> to be? We know what it's going to be, don't we, Plank? <laughs> what? Not Tilly. I know what it's going to be. Help me whisper. Oh! <laughs> Rosie! Yeah? I know what they've made out of that bit of old tree. Yeah, and I know too as well. They've made that tree into... Is God's nice new plank? Yeah, made out of real tree wood. Yeah. Here we are, it's a nice new plank for you. Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Rosie, mm? now he's got his old mended plank. Yes. And a nice new plank. Let's take Fizzgog our mended plank. Yeah, he will like this mm. one. Good. 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 Plant a tree and watch it grow, watch it grow so high. Plant a tree and watch it grow, growing to the sky. With a saw, saw here and a saw, saw there. Here a saw, there a saw, everywhere a saw, saw there. <laughs> Lots of locks. But, Rosie, yeah? you've just sawed up my nice new tree. Um, well, I know you can plant another one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right, you nugget. Um, there, a nice new little tree. Plant a tree and watch it grow. Watch it grow so high. Plant a tree and watch it grow, reaching to the sky. <laughs> With the saw saw here and the saw saw there, lots of logs, lots of logs, lots of logs! <laughs> Rosie! Yes? You've sawed up all my trees! Yes? Whee! Shippity <laughs> whippity! <laughs> Rosie? Yeah. Now all my, all my trees are all in little bits. Yeah, I know. <gasps> I know. What? We could plant some more. Yeah, lots of little trees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, Jim. Lots of new little trees. And Rosie, hmm? these little trees will grow and grow into lots of great big trees. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, please go. Oh. Oh, how kind. Someone's mended my plank. That means I have two now. Oh, and they made me some trees as well. Some little ones. Aren't they lovely? That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim were going along on the good boat Ragdoll when they came to a forest. 
Let's go for a walk, said Jim. They met a man with an axe. He was chopping a tree down. Stop, shouted Jim. You'll hurt it. Never fear, said the man. When I cut down an old tree, I always plant a new one. That's right, Noggin, said Rosie. Would you like to see my furniture tree, said the man. Furniture, said Rosie. That's tables and chairs and beds, said the man. There it is. Rosie and Jim climbed into the furniture tree and tried to go to sleep on a branch. Jim sat on a bough. Noodle, said Rosie, I'll never sleep here. But people have to make it into furniture, said the man. The tree makes the wood. So that's where wood comes from, said Jim. Well, I never, said Rosie. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. End.